Hey guys, here we go into a breakdown of Tevin Farmer's technique. And for all intents and purposes, I want you guys to be thinking about these fighters as both right-handed, okay? Now, they're both southpaws, but when they're both southpaws or they're both orthodox, you're mirroring your technique, okay? Uh, your technique is going to be the same, uh, and these two are supposed to be fighting each other the, the same exact way that two orthodox fighters would fight. So I want you to be paying attention to those ideas and not get mixed up in the orthodox southpaw ideas because these guys are both southpaws. So that the angles are the same, the positions are the same, everything is mimicked the same as orthodox versus orthodox. So we have a perfect control for understanding and breaking down Tevin Farmer's technique. So number one, he's getting his weight to the front foot, kind of, but he's not transferring his weight, okay? He's just kind of leaning on the front foot here. And he's kind of exploding out of his guard to shoot this jab. Now, Diaz is catching it. He sees it coming a mile away. Because in the beginning of your boxing career, the beginning of your training, the easiest way to get into a position is by stepping. And uh, I think that Tevin Farmer has been trained by a fitness coach most of his life. So he steps with this jab. Okay? He's stepping with the jab here. But uh, he's also entering the line, you know, in a, in a back foot position on the front foot, okay? So his hands are down. Um, but what I want you to pay attention to is here, this line here, okay? Now, if you're on the front foot and your weight is on the front foot, that means that your knee is going to be bent here. Your leg is going to be bent because you're going to be on the ball of your foot here. And your hip is going to swing forward a little bit. And your back shoulder... Normally, your right shoulder, if you're an orthodox fighter, but as a southpaw, your left shoulder is going to go forward as you change positions, okay? Now, if we look at Jojo Diaz, here's a near perfect example. His shoulder is kind of going forward. It looks a little similar to his, but he's more on the ball of the, the back foot. And look at his weight, right? There's not nearly as succinct of a line. I mean, if I draw it straight down here, it's not as bad either, but... Um, but the line that he has going to his back foot is much steeper than Tevin Farmer because Tevin Farmer is standing so much more straight up, whereas Diaz has a line here and a slope here, signifying that he has his weight transferred on his front foot more than Tevin Farmer does. Okay, that's the important idea. Now, as he approaches the line, he's going to approach in the same position to throw his right hand as he did his jab. Okay? Now, there's nothing inherently wrong with this idea, but it demonstrates that he doesn't really know how to transfer his weight to the front foot unless he's punching, okay? As you can see, he doesn't ever slip onto the front foot, okay? Now, this is something, a really interesting idea, um, and in case you guys didn't know, uh, Tevin Farmer is actually coached by uh, Coach Anthony, or he used to be. Uh, I think they left after this fight, you know, for good reason, and we're going to talk about a lot of that, but... When you're going to throw a lead right hand or a lead left hand in Tevin Farmer's case, you need to slip and transfer your weight to the front foot, okay? Now, that position is going to be the same one that you throw a left hook in, okay? But that idea, um, and there was a, some debate on my channel uh, a few episodes ago about uh, technique theory. Now, in my technique theory, I say that you're going to be transferring your weight to the front foot and you use a right hand to teach that and to learn that so that you learn to bring your shoulder with you, okay? Now, when you're going to be leaning into this position, you're trying to hide your right hand, okay? You're just you're not getting a lot of power into it, right? That's not the point of it. But you're trying to slide into this position on the front foot so you can just catch him with the quick right hand. Um, I call it a jab, a right-handed jab. You're jabbing, you know, with the lead hand. Um, and your lead hand... When you change positions, you transfer your weight to the front foot, your rear hand becomes your lead hand. Now, there's a video that Coach Anthony put out a few months ago after I talked about this idea on Patreon, and he tried to teach this very same concept. But this was after the Tevin Farmer fight, and we can clearly see Tevin Farmer not doing that with his lead right hand. He doesn't change positions. He doesn't transfer his weight. He doesn't bring his shoulder forward. He doesn't get his weight on the front foot. He just explodes out of his guard to try to throw this punch. Now, we're going to go over why he does that as well. But uh, also, the lead left hook, okay? Notice when he throws his left hook, you guys, he's throwing it again from the same position he throws his jab from.
from the same position he throws his right hand from. And he's still stepping with this punch, okay? Now again, in the video that I, I accused him of using my boxing theory, he says that he teaches his fighters to transfer their weight to the front foot to throw their left hook. Here, we can clearly see Tevin Farmer makes no attempt at transferring his weight to the front foot, crossing the line, getting his head on the other side of Jojo Diaz's head, or changing positions before he throws that hook. Changing positions, bringing your right shoulder forward, and in Tevin Farmer's case, the left shoulder. He actually just looks to explode out of his guard in the same position each time. Here's him getting caught with the jab to the body. But going to the body, or, or going using the jab, same position. Right hand, same position. Lead hook, same position. Every single time he throws a punch, he's entering the line in the same position. So we're going to see why he does that. Well, here he is entering the line with the left hook. Here he is in the same boxing stance. And look at him take this step right here. Again, taking a step is the easiest way to learn to transfer your weight, okay? That means you're still in the beginner stage. No offense to Tevin Farmer's weight transitions, but it means that he doesn't practice transferring his weight. Spoiler alert, we saw him on the line not changing positions, so we know he doesn't know how to transfer his weight. But as we continue going forward, lead hook. How does he teach his fighters to throw the lead hook, guys? By transferring their weight, crossing the line, and changing positions? No. Getting into their boxing position and just blasting out of it. Again, not setting any of these shots up, entering the line in the exact same position in every punch. Hook, straight right hand. Hook again, entering the line in the same position. Jab, entering the line in the same position. One, two, entering the line in the same position. One jab, entering the line in the same position. No active guard, no fainting, no probing, no head movement, nothing. Now, as we continue on in the film study, here he is again throwing another lead hook. And again, a much better, clearer angle. He's not crossing the line. He's not bringing his shoulder with him. He's not getting his weight on the front foot. He's not doing any of the things that uh, he said that he does, right? He's not doing any of the things he said that he does teach his, his fighters, but Tevin Farmer is not doing that. Now, again, boom, boom. Look at these hooks. Where is Tevin Farmer's shoulder for all of them? Is he bringing his weight to the front foot? Is he getting his weight into that position? No, he's not. Now, this is what happens when you fight someone who knows how to fight, someone who does have, have head movement. Someone who does know how to cross the line and transfer their weight. Now, Jojo Diaz is not the greatest at it, but he only had to be a little bit better than Tevin Farmer. And because of the fact that Tevin Farmer enters the line in the same position, no matter what punch he's throwing, he never gets any of his weight into his attacks. This is why he's so easy to counter for Jojo Diaz. Jojo Diaz is countering him here. He's countering him here. Again, entering in the same position. This is 20 seconds into the fight, and Tevin Farmer is shooting that jab to the head, but Jojo Diaz is already reading it. And that's because when you learn to step with your punches like this, and you don't know how to cross the line, transfer your weight, change positions, and fight off of the front foot, you can only enter the line in one position. You can only transfer your weight in one way. And that's the way that amateurs learn how to fight. No offense, Tevin Farmer. This is not about you. But, um... Again, continuing the film study. Not that we're not ready for that clip yet, or that one. So, on my channel, I talk about. Let me make sure that I got the right ones. Yeah. So, on my channel, I talk about positions. Uh, now, someone linked me a video of Coach Anthony's video, and they said that he has an idea of talking about it too. And I thought it was very clever, actually. He talks about it in frames. It was cool, right? But he says some really crazy shit. Number one, he says that your final frame all the way on the back foot is the one that you're going to use to get away from your opponent's straight right hand. Okay? So the first jab, when someone throws a punch at you, you're in the center zone. And then you move to the, the zone on the right. I can't remember what he called that frame. But there's one frame to the right, and then there's another frame. So you slip once, 
And now you slip one more time to get away from the right hand. But here's Tevin Farmer literally getting smacked in the head trying to observe that technique and trying to observe that boxing theory uh, because it's not how it works, okay? Your opponent's long right hand, the longest right hand they throw, is designed to attack a fighter all the way on the back foot. That's literally what it's for. Your overhand right attacks the front foot. Your long right hand attacks the back foot. Anyone who understands anything about boxing positions, about boxing on the front foot or boxing on the front on the back foot, understands this, that different punches attack different zones. Now, if you're interested in learning about this on my channel, it was the last video that got put up. Um, I was a little bit fat and out of shape. And uh, when I put it up, I'm still recovering from a boxing injury. You know, but I'm doing my training. I'm getting ready. No excuses. I'm ready to fight. Um, but I talk about this idea and how the back foot is not safe from that. And you can clearly see Tevin Farmer is figuring that out the hard way. And now why does this happen? This is because someone who's creating theory, right, doesn't actually know how to fight. That's why that happens. Now, again, oh, whoops, same clip. Again, Tevin Farmer trying to escape the right hand. Now notice, he's not falling for this again, right? He's not gonna stay, this is like ten, like five seconds after that, right? 117 in the round, 115, it's literally the next engagement. He already knows that he can't move away now. He can't allow that space to be there because he's gonna get hit by that right hand, but he's still getting hit by the right hand. Now why is this, okay? Why is this? Well, once he gets pushed to the back half of his line, he doesn't have a way to get back on the line. Why is this? And this is what fighting off of the back foot means, you guys. If you guys are a fighter, if you guys follow um, Coach Anthony's channel, this is called the Philly Shell. This is the Philly Shell position. Now, Coach Anthony has a lot of videos on his channel talking about how to use the Philly Shell. But Tevin Farmer spends the entire fight on the back foot like this, being controlled by Diaz, and has no idea how to re-enter the line once he gets fainted off of his line. He has no idea how to re-enter the line and throw punches. He has no idea because he doesn't ever practice fighting on the front foot. He doesn't know where his head is going to wind up when he throws a right hand. Why is that? Because he doesn't practice positions. He doesn't practice transferring his weight. What does he practice? He practices getting on the line and making the punch the most important thing about his training. Why is that? Well, I guess if you're an only an internet coach, you're going to be more worried about your punches sounding good than your fighter actually being good because most people who watch you fight or watch you train someone or watch you teach don't know what the hell they're talking about, okay? So you're going to focus on the punches. You're going to focus on entering the line. You're not going to focus on fighting because if you lose to a world champion, you just get to say, oh, he's a world champion, no big deal, no accountability. But spoiler alert, bro. Some people actually know what they're talking about. And you can see that he clearly doesn't look trained to fight in any other way except to punch to enter the line. Okay, now this is a very important idea. Again, as we continue going forward, he doesn't know how to fight on the back foot. He doesn't know how to fight on the back foot. He doesn't know how to fight on the back foot. Look at the only punch that he throws in this entire sequence after he gets pushed off of his line. Shouldn't he be waiting to pull counter here? Isn't that a perfect opportunity? He has able, he's been able to bait Jojo Diaz into attacking his line while he's all the way on the back foot. One, two, again, trying to use that fifth frame that Anthony, Coach Anthony talks about all the way on the back foot to escape the straight left hand of Jojo Diaz. Again, Mikey Garcia will tell you, that's what this punch is for, okay? Watch the Sergey Lipinets fight. He had a very similar problem. He had no way to transfer his weight to the front foot. He couldn't slip to the front foot because of his hips, his bad technique, you know. And Mikey Garcia was destroying him with that long right hand. Destroying him. And that's exactly what's going on here. But notice, Tevin Farmer doesn't know how to re-enter the line after he gets pushed off of it. He doesn't know how to use the quote-unquote 
Philly shell to draw attacks into his line and then transfer his weight to the front foot as he gets away from them. He doesn't know how. The first punch that he throws is a left hand to the body and he has to get across the line to do that. But he doesn't know how to cross the line with a punch because he doesn't practice it. Again, all he practices is getting on the line with his coach. Again, continuing the film study, we got a few more clips. Where are the pool counters? Where are they? When he gets pushed to the front foot here, look at how he gets here. His opponent is on the front foot here. And when he slips his weight to the front foot, he crosses Jojo Diaz's line, but he doesn't throw a punch. And Jojo Diaz is completely out of position. Why? Because he doesn't practice this stuff. And for someone who pretends to know so much about the Philly shell, how is it that Tevin Farmer doesn't do any of this? Aren't any of these perfect positions to be throwing punches? Look at what he does finally get to the front foot. Look at him slip to the front foot. He's falling off of a balance. No ability to fight off the front foot or the back foot. Okay, you guys? Think about that idea. He doesn't know how to get his weight to the front foot. And he cannot fight off of the back foot. So where does that leave him? In the neutral zone. Entering the line with a 1-1-2. 1-1-2. Very basic boxing. And only getting his weight to the front foot when he throws a straight right hand. Sorry, straight left hand. Straight left hand. Kind of rounded there. But only getting to the front foot when he punches. Again, a sign that, you know... He doesn't have the greatest coaching. Someone to teach him to get into these positions without punching. Now, we do have a few more clips. Now, why is it that he, even though he's with a supposed master of fighting off the back foot, why is it that he can't fight off the back foot? Well, this is the drill that he works on the mitts with his coach about slipping punches. How is he supposed to figure out what a straight left hand looks like so that he can land a, a, a counter, right, when his opponent throws a straight left hand? How can he look figure out what that looks like if his coach is throwing a jab at him and telling him to slip to the front foot? Because this is a slip for a one-two. But the problem is your coach's body mechanics are supposed to emulate your opponent's body mechanics when they're punching at you. But he's teaching his fighter to slip only by shooting the jab. And there are no counters here, right? So why can he not fight off the back foot? Well, number one, his coach doesn't actually throw any right hands at him or left hands in this case, straight left hands. So he's never going to realize what it looks like when his opponent throws a straight left hand. Because, I mean, I know, I know. He's a professional fighter, he's seen it a million times, right? But you're supposed to be getting these looks because training with your coach is your first look at these moves. Training with your coach is your first look at what it's going to look like when you see this in front of another person. And they're supposed to emulate that stuff for you so you can understand the positions. He has no idea what it's going to look like when he gets to the front foot and his opponent gets to the front foot. Because when Coach Anthony throws this jab and then simulates the right hand after it, he's not changing, he's not changing positions. He's not transferring his weight to the front foot. He's not doing what he's supposed to be doing to give his fighter the looks that he needs. Now, in all the videos I saw, I only saw like three um, because I wanted to make sure they were ones that Coach Anthony is training him from a southpaw position because he's fighting a southpaw. He never, one time, practices throwing the straight left hand and making him slip it. How is he supposed to teach his fighter to fight off of the back foot if his fighter can never even see what the fighting off the back foot looks like? If he's not even practicing pull counters? Again, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, if... Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, just a colossal failure, to be honest, um, for this fight. Uh, he wasn't able to show Tevin Farmer how to transfer his weight to the front foot. Tevin Farmer, as you, you see, 
He clearly has no idea how to do that. He has no idea how to transfer his weight or change positions. And that's why when he gets pushed off of his line late in the fight, he spends so much time here, here, not able to defend himself, not able to transfer his weight, not able to make counters. Um, and that's because he only practices fighting out of one position, right? Do we remember what that position looks like, guys? Because I'm trying to look for the clip, but I think I closed it. I only have that other one open right now. Uh, where is it? Right here. Which clip is this? We didn't even watch this one, did we? Oh, yeah, we did. The right hands. This one. Anyway, I'm sure you guys see what I mean. And it's interesting that that this person is saying that I'm copying their boxing theory, right? That they don't need to copy me. They don't need this. That they thought of it or whatever, whatever. Um, but you can clearly see that these are not things that he teaches his most prized pupil. His most prized boxing possession. And he doesn't teach him. Why wouldn't you teach the person who's supposed to bring your boxing to the world these things that you talk about teaching? Hmm? Does anybody know why? Yeah, that's what I thought. 